Hey, it's all about quality, not about quantity, right? Let's get back to another round of Bruise Day Tuesday with Drez and Huck. I don't think you hit it enough times. I don't think there's any sort of minimum. Oh, when it comes to oh, it. So, oh, oh, look who's talking. Look who's gower. talking. Here you go. We need a towel. Yeah, here you go, dude. Uh, it is Bruce Day Tuesday, and Huck is spilling in the studio. Which, if you would like to see him make an ass of himself and waste all this great beer, you can do so because we do post these up on YouTube, on Huck's YouTube channel. I saved most of it. Yeah? Okay, that's good. It was a foamer. Um, and uh, while I'm at it, might as well let you know we're, uh, uh, you know, podcast, uh, iTunes, iTunes, all that crap. Just search for Bruce Day Google Tuesday. Google Play. Google Play. We got everything. Yeah, we, we, we're hip with it. If you want to see us, you can see us. Yep. Or you can just listen and do it with the old school FM dial, which is my preference personally. What would I, what would I like you to do oh, on a Tuesday Lanza, afternoon? Oh, my Look at this. On a look Tuesday afternoon, this. you should go home and... Six o'clock, put your feet up, get a beer, turn on the internet, and just live stream us. Turn on the internet. Um, so uh, so we're doing like rare beers, and I notice when I'm looking at this one that I can't even read it. So not only are we going outside of the state of Virginia, we're going outside of the country of the United States. And what am I? What are we drinking? Okay, so my friend Sam. Shout, S- shout out to Sam. Sam, specialty beverage. <laughs> this is not really them. I probably shouldn't even mention them. But anyway, Sam works for them. He used to be at 622, for you folks who know him. Went to Iceland. Oh, Icelandic. For his honeymoon Dude. with his lovely wife, my which buddy, I'm sure he doesn't deserve. My buddy went to Iceland and brought me back uh, like a um, a stein. Yeah? I, if so I had known you should have brought If it. I had known you were bringing this, I would have definitely brought it. That would have been so cool. So he brought us back two beers for the show. And mine is Ufrun. Ulfron, and it's, uh, let me just read you the description. The description is Ulfron and Crafton Milik Nohant. Never mind. It's a session IPA. And let me translate yours for you. Uh, I was going to say, let me, you, should I try it? You want me to butcher it first, and then you can. No, I'll just tell you what it is. You can butcher it. No, you can read that, but I, what it is. It says Viking Pascabajor. Yeah. Which means. It's a Vienna lager. <laughs> 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 from a creaky island. Uh, I can't. I mean, you know, they use, like, there's a word, 33 CL, Bjor, B-J-O with an accent mark R, 4.5% alcohol. I want to know what the 33 CL, Bjor are. I want so 66 are these, Bjor. So are these are these the same brewery? No, no, these are different breweries. Okay. Two different breweries. Um, I did not. He just handed them to me a half hour before the show. So I had no time to do my usual. Oh, lack. that's right. Because yeah, you're like you're like I still need. He hits me up yesterday. He's like, I still need to find another some more <laughs> rare beers. I'm like, um, well, uh, I'm a little tapped out. So, so I run into Sam last night. I'm like, he's like, oh, you should have told me you're gonna be here. I brought these beers. I'm like, can you bring them tomorrow? Because <laughs> I need them. I need them. I, I need, need a rare by, beer. I need them by Tuesday. <laughs> um. So as you can see, a lot of thought and time and preparation goes for this show. As uh, of course, and, and it I, has from the beginning. And I'm sure uh, he's held to these standards. And I'm sure Huck is going to be able to answer all of the extensive questions that I have about these as- Icelandic get, breweries. And get my the Internet beers, Explorer sir. out no, here. I'm not even. I'm not even going to try because I know you don't know squat. Well, I you don't, don't know even know squat. How, you don't even know how to pronounce the damn name of the. I do brewery. know that that a week or so ago they had the Banff movie thing at the Lyric. And there was this one of the little, there's like 10 little movies. And one of the little movies was about these two guys surfing in Iceland. And I mean, okay, so they put on their wetsuits. Fair enough. You know, people do that at Virginia Beach this time of year. But this is probably summer in Iceland. And then they walk through the snow and out into the <laughs> icy Atlantic. So if you imagine the wind coming all the way from, I guess, Antarctica. Because there's nothing between Antarctica and Iceland. Well, this Iceland. must be super new- northern Iceland. Because Iceland is, you know, there's the whole, the, the, with the Vikings and stuff. Greenland's the one that's really ice. Iceland is, like, nice. Is it? But if you're, yeah, did you not know that? Like, no, Ice- I don't know a lot of things. Iceland's, like, really nice, actually. But well, it looked pretty cold. You know, they and got, they like, were surfing. You know, and they have, like, the, the hot springs and stuff. Like... Like I said, my, my buddy and um, and his girlfriend went there like last October, 
and the picture that's where they film um that's where they film part of game of thrones game of thrones yeah. i know that or is it game of thrones or i know that they uh, they do part of it there I think. i'm sure probably, probably yeah, the, I'm north th- of the no, wall but i'm thinking of um isn't that where they did what's one of the other nerdy things like oh, you, that you lord know. of the rings didn't they film oh, like lord yeah of the rings? some of that was there probably yeah. probably i don't know either way i but, landed there once on my way back from europe and they made us get off the plane because the plane was dirty they were going to clean it we're like we're asleep we don't care and then they made us go through um you know Icelandic customs? Yeah, again, to get back on the plane. Like, yeah, I got a gun while I was out here in the airport <laughs> sitting in the seat. What a pain in the ass. Oh, yeah. That's because we're feeling but damn, safer. I really wish I had known because not only did he, they bring me back in an Icelandic stein that had like a, you know, a cool, you know, this has the little Viking thing. It had a Viking thing on there. It even had like a gold rim around the top. But also, in the same theme, because they know me so well, uh, Icelandic coasters. And on each coaster, it has like a funny little fact about people in Iceland and stuff. Oh, they're cold. That would have been so. That would have. Fact number two, they're kind of cold. It's not that cold, dude. You're you're confusing it with Greenland. I think it's way the heck up there. Part of it is like at the Arctic. Do I need to circle. pull up a map? Do I need to geograph geography it, it your ass stick. right now? It won't stick. <laughs> Don't bother. You're wasting your breath. But um, I mean, my wife and I have this have been having the same argument. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, any ten, pick ten. For 35 years. So you're not, you know, we've only been together a year and so on. So no. Okay. Know, well, here's what I know me. about Iceland. Okay. Um, my, my buddy went there last year. I know that they were the team that the Mighty Ducks had to play in D2, where they were Team USA versus Iceland. And that's where I learned, you know, the whole Greenland is icy and Iceland See, so is nice. So you got your information from Hollywood. From a Disney movie from back <laughs> in the day. Uh, the other thing okay, I know I'm, I, I'm done. is that Bjork, Bjork is from Iceland. That, yeah, that's the extent Bjork. of my Icelandic no- knowledge. Well, I know that the, the name of the city is Ravinjavik. And I know because I'm a ham radio operator, there's a big giant antenna up there. And you talk with those, those guys. And you can go up there and... Work on it. I like they let, for, they'll let they'll bring you up because they need some help. Cause it's <laughs> really cold and they got to get them on a ladder or a bucket truck. So it's a big giant antenna, and they listen to stuff. Maybe the northern lights. I want to go there and see the northern lights. Northern lights. I want to yes, see. Of course, that. the northern lights. Yeah, yeah. I want to see the northern lights. I've seen some southern lights. <laughs> porch lights i've smoked some northern couch, lights couch burning. <laughs> actually northern lights is a is a star hill beer there we're beer, yes we're beer that's people. true there that's true go. we knew that we knew that okay so let me i guess are we are we still within time or should we just keep running our mouths uh, what do you got what do you got we got a little bit of time what's up <laughs> no i was just gonna say you know we are gonna go find some more rare beers because this has been a good a good show it's beer been wise. such a great show beer wise, beer wise. <laughs> yeah we're sorry about all you people that content, didn't get any content wise yeah who knows uh, yeah yeah you'll judge us yeah whatever but we won't we can delete those comments <laughs> just saying but yeah we need to find some more rare beers and we'll take suggestions if anyone wants to uh, we're always us. we are always open for suggestions if you have any sort of an idea for our show you can feel free to email tweet Facebook specifically I have like you know everybody has like beers they really really want and I have one, and I'm sooner or later I'll get it. But I've always wanted some Pliny the Younger, and that's oh the younger, the younger Pliny the Elder. You know, it comes in bottles. It's distributed on the West Coast. We sent them a, a letter and asked for beer, and they said we were too far away. Fair enough. But you know, now, you know, I know it would be hard to send a a, cra- a growler from there to here. And, and now they, there's crowlers. Now there's crowlers. So, but they don't sell them. So somebody needs to go to to um, Russian River and get a growler of Pliny the Younger. Crowler. No, a growler, and then take it somewhere then, that has growlers, then, slip them 25 bucks. <laughs> I'll pay all of this and send me the, the growler full, and we will talk. We'll It'll give you much love on the show. It ended up being the most expensive beer we've ever tasted. Yeah, probably. But, but it'll be worth it. Well, uh, while we're at it, speaking of tasting beers, what are you feeling with your whatever the hell you're drinking over there? Yeah, well, this is the uh, Session IPA, and i got to tell you, you know, other than the low alcohol... This doesn't have the usual attributes of a session IPA. This be I would compare this favorably to Dale's Pale Ale, which is one of my favorite IPAs. That's your that's your staple. That's that your is. Go-to. And this has got this is very similar flavor profile. Now I can tell that the alcohol is not there, but you know at four point five percent. But this is nicely hopped, nicely. This is a good beer. I mean, I think that these people in Iceland. Made me a good beer. I don't know if that's an Icelandic accent, but I'll try. Who knows, dude? Yeah. Um, and of course, so I'm going to give it. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, same as APV, 4.5. 4.5, that's match fair enough. I don't even know if this, you don't even know if that is the ABV. No, this one, numbers. this has got English on it. It does? So yeah. you're like, you gave me the Yeah, I got one. translations on here. Mine says 4.8. I'm assuming that's ABV. Uh, yeah. That's got to be the ABV y'all, on this. Y'all, that's and you said this is, this does Vienna Lager. Sounds good. See, you give such a great review of it. Like, I, I, I still haven't really stepped up my... Oh, the notes on this, the blah, blah, blah. You it tastes like a Vienna lager, man. It tastes, this is a decent beer. I don't know if I'm just riding high because I haven't drank much beer since last weekend, but <laughs> I say there's a lot of good stuff with this. And, and the fact that, God, I tell you what, it would have tasted better if I was drinking out of that Stein. Yeah. If I had that, it'd be a five. But well, since I, I could ask him to run back up there and get us another couple of games. <laughs> yeah, just, hey, can you make another beer run to Iceland for us real quick? Um, but no, this is solid. If you ever come across Viking Pascabal, no, um, I'm gonna try again. Pascabal, P A S K A B J O R. I don't know what Icelandic sounds like. I don't know what kind of notes or accents they put where. Um, but well, the surfing movie had a guy that was representing the wind, and apparently he was cursing in, in Icelandic, and it's not anything like our cursing, but it is like interesting to listen to. I wish I knew some of that. We could probably get away with saying some Icelandic curse words. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how many people in our listening area can speak <laughs> Icelandic? I don't think I don't think we enough to get pulled on None. it. Either way, this beer is pretty, pretty decent. I'll, I'll give it a four. I there would give go. it a four. So like a four and four point five. I'd give it a four. You know what? I'm even gonna give it a four point two five for traveling so far. There you to, go. To become to, it up. to come in my belly. Oh, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> On that note, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up Bruise Day Tuesday. Yes, we um, should. <laughs> I have no idea what we're doing next week. It'll probably be I as don't either. it'll probably be as winged as this show. Wait, was. wait, I think we should we should maybe, you know, try to figure out something spring related. Cause it'll be it's about that time yeah, winter, we're getting there we got a little end of winter that kicked our you know what's oh big stella came through and disappointed got, everybody. yeah but then it got cold <laughs> yeah so. yeah it did get cold either way yes hopefully spring will have sprung by the next time we do a bruise day tuesday show uh huck as always appreciate you coming in huxbeerbuzz.com huxbeerbuzz on Everything. the Facebook, on the Twitter, on the Twitter, on, on the uh, Gmail. Oh, and we were untapping these beers without even saying that Huck's Beer Buzz is his handle. Dress Drinks is mine. Friend us, message us, tweet us, tweak us, beep us, buck us. Drink with us. And drink with us. Maybe Next time sticker. on Bruise Day Tuesday.